92.7 and 96.9 WRV. We're here with Jack from the Bleachers. Jack, how's it going, man? Good. How you doing? Thanks so much for uh, coming in town today. Yeah, I uh, I live semi close by. You do really? Where are you from originally? Well, I, li- well, I live in, in in New York City, so um, pretty close. Manhattan or uh, Brooklyn? Brooklyn. But I'm from nice. Jersey. So I, I used to when I was first growing up, and I would be in bands and stuff, you know, Poughkeepsie and, and places like that. That'd be like as far as we'd tour. So you've played the Chance. I've played the Chance. I played much smaller rooms than the Chance growing up. Really? Yeah. So that you didn't just go right from uh, playing in your basement to uh, three thousand seaters is what you're saying. No, but I did. There was a, there was a, a studio in Newburgh, which is around here, right? Newburgh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I used to go there a lot when I was like fifteen to seventeen. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's it's cool yeah. to hear that you're local. I, I you know what? Ironically, as much information as I have on you, I I didn't have that. I'm localish, so I feel like you've educated me a little bit. <laughs> I feel better about the whole experience. That's why I came to educate you. Jack Jack came to Poughkeepsie to make sure WRV knows what's up, <laughs> and that's refreshing to hear. Uh, is it true that the uh, Bleachers began while on tour with Fun? Uh, yeah, so you're... Um, and just Bleachers, no the, no the. Okay. Yeah, all right, cool. But um, but that's a mistake that a lot of people seem to make. I think everybody wants to put a the on there, um, myself included. <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, I started. I, I wrote the record and, and, and pretty much recorded it on tour, in hotel rooms and buses and. Planes that's kind of worked all over the place, which is the opposite of how I've ever made records in the past and ended up being a really positive thing for me. Is it true that uh, you didn't tell anybody about the project? I didn't tell anybody but the people that were very close to me just because I wanted to preserve it and I wanted to, um, you know, I, I think I think when you're coming from another band, a lot of people, they get preconceived notions about it if, if they know what it is. So I just wanted music to come first. And I knew that the only way to put music first was to make the album first so I knew what should come first um, so it, almost by default it had to be a secret did, it, was, it wasn't like I planned it to be a secret did you uh, expect it to be this successful it's just blown up um, I, I don't I didn't I, the only place I really put a lot of expectations is, is on the actual work itself because it's the only part you know there's if, if the whole thing is like a big pie it's like you know the records and the live show that's the part I can control and I guess how good a job I do at that is how flavorful the rest of the place <laughs> um i i guess the, the answer is is i um I, I i just try not to focus on that and i just it, it makes me uh, you know whether it's one person or a million people you know connecting with 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 fans over the music is kind of really important no matter how big it gets but it's been really exciting that's cool so you guys have some uh, some big plans for the summer uh that includes an appearance at bonnaroo we were talking a little yeah. bit about that before the uh the it's actually gonna be my 10 10 year anniversary of playing bonnaroo 10 i played it first when i was in 2005 because uh, you played it uh, first with um, Steel Train? Twice with Steel Train. Sorry. No, three times with Steel Train. Wow. Yeah. And then you played it with Fun. Once with Fun. Once with Fun. And then this is... With Bleachers the first time. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So you guys, now do you get to hang out at all down there, or you, is it all business? We'll, we'll get to hang out a little bit. I mean, the, the first year I went, we like went three days early, set up like a campsite, like <laughs> the whole thing, you know? And then the last time I was there, it was like we were there for a few hours because we were in the middle of a tour date. But um, I think it's it's the last day of a tour, so we'll it won't be too crazy hectic. Yeah, so but, but that to... sucks sometimes when you go to a festival and you have to just go in and leave, and there's it's really the only opportunity you have to see a lot of bands you want to see. Yeah, and the lineup this year at Bonnaroo is incredible. It's nuts. Sneak off to see some Billy Joel. I, I, <laughs> it's gonna take a stick of dynamite to get me away from Billy Joel. <laughs> now will you go see Mumford and Sons too? Do you like those guys? Um, yeah, I want. I kind of like to see. I like to see anything live in a, in a weird way. Like, I, I just want to see everything. Like, because something live versus on record, you could just discover a whole new thing about it. Mm-hmm. Like, just stuff, kind of music I would never listen to. Like, I don't listen to metal, but I love watching, like, metal on YouTube. You go check out the Slayer set, then. That yeah, like, that'd be a blast. I would never listen to Slayer, but I would love to see them live. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Well, let's talk summer tour a little bit. You're playing with uh, Charlie XCX. I just want to recommend anyone going to those shows to go in early to check out Borns, because they're terrific. Borns is great, yeah. Um, it's going to be a great tour. It's really just going to be a really exciting summer and kind of a, a perfect way to to finish things off in america on this album that's great and uh, you got a new single coming out too uh tell me a little bit about that um it's called like a river runs and it's the third single from the album and it's it's probably the most um it's an extremely deep song it's very uh it sounds very anthemic but it's also a very sad song about loss and kind of when you're in a dream state and you aren't fully you know remembering what it, it did or didn't happen so it's, it's actually one of the first songs I wrote for the album, if not the first. 
Um, so it's a very special song to me, and I'm happy it gets to kind of take a step out front. Very nice. Um, what was it like winning a Grammy? That must have been pretty incredible. It was cool because I thought, like, um, there's certain things in life and in your career that you can do that can't really get taken away from you. So, like, I remember in 2007, uh, my band Steel Chamber got to play on Conan. And I had this feeling like, you know, no matter what happens, that's a really cool thing that, like, one day I'll tell my kids about. And then other things happen, like you get to play, you know, you sell out this venue, and you're like, well, no matter what happens, that that happened. No one can really take that away from you. And I think, you know, winning a Grammy is just that it's that same feeling. You know, it's just, well, that that's a cool thing that happened that um, if everything stopped tomorrow, is is still pretty neat. But it's, it's a feeling that I have a lot about th- things that I do, you know, going all the way back to when I was... 15 I played my first show I thought like well no matter what I played the live show so it's just like it's a continuation of that feeling now what's the next big do you have a uh, the next big what's the next big thing you want to accomplish um making the next bleachers record is is the big thing on my mind and and defining what that sound is going to be and how it's going to step forward that's nice the, the big accomplishment I need to figure out cool we're all excited to hear it yeah so I'm assuming you'll have that ready for us pretty soon. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, you know, lay off, pal. You know, give me some time here. I got, I got Bonnaroo to check out first. Don't worry about it. Uh, do you have any plans to get back together with fun anytime soon? Um, I know you're a very busy guy. Yeah, so. but I'm pretty focused on bleachers at the moment. Um, but, you know, who knows what the future holds. Cool, I'm just trying yeah. to get some dirt out of you. I'm trying yeah, there's not that much dirt on me. Know. You know, I'm just pretty. I can't find any. You really? You're a very clean guy. You're a very clean guy. Can't find any guy. dirt? Yeah, it's uh, trying to find a reason to... Uh, That's because I'm good at keeping it wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> Smart guy here. Smart guy. Well, I hope we get a chance to see you again uh, yeah. sometime in soon oh, uh, back in town. So, uh, Jack, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. We're coming to WRV. We really appreciate it. <laughs>